Okay, what we learned in the last lecture uh, the among three physical variables we learned sound pressure, density, velocity we recognize that sound intensity that is power per unit area and sound pressure is certainly that excites our auditory system right therefore we need to understand how we sense the sound pressure okay so in that sense we learn that sound pressure level that measures the magnitude of sound pressure okay, is defined as 10 log 10 average sound pressure square and the square of the reference pressure and the period reference is 20 micro Pascal. Where the average sound pressure, average of square of the sound pressure, we call it mean square average, mean square average, that can be written as we are square, we averaging the sound pressure along time t, capital T, okay, okay. that is the definition of a mean square average of sound pressure. And this is sound pressure level, okay, and also we found that our auditory system is very sensible to the frequency content of sound pressure. For example, when you hear which is close to one kilohertz, and also when you hear that you, your sensory systems actually sense this pressure signal in somewhat different way. We will see later on. Okay? So at least we can agree that the frequency scale is very important. And we also we found that the, what we hear in frequency scale is not with respect to linear scale. In other words, it's not easy to distinguish between say 1 kilohertz and 100, 1 1.1 kilohertz and 1.2 kilohertz or 900 hertz. But we can certainly distinguish between 1 kilohertz and 500 hertz or 250 hertz. So therefore, the frequency scale is scaled by not linear scale, but in logarithmic or octave scale. The octave scale is, is the scale that F2 is twice of the F1. We call this is base frequency. And the center frequency, F0, is defined as geometric mean of this band. Therefore, I can write that is F1 divided by F0 has to be same as F0 divided by F2. Therefore, I can write F0 square is equal to F1 multiplied by F2. Okay. And knowing that F2 is 
two times of f1, therefore we can write this is f1 square, therefore I can write f0 is equal to square root 2 f1, right? And that is approximately 1.4 f1, okay? Okay. And in the text, you, you can find the terminology they call the bandwidth of octave band. Bandwidth of octave band, that means f1 minus f1, and that is f1, in this case. Uh, we would like to express the bandwidth of octave band with respect to center frequency. Okay, that means if you, ha if you know the center frequency, you want to know the bandwidth of the center frequency. That can be obtained because F F0 is the center frequency, so 1.4 F1, F1. That is about 70%. So that we call the bandwidth of octave band is about 70% of the center frequency. OK? The similar discussion derivation can be obtained for the case one third octave band and generally one nth octave band, we can obtain the similar result. Okay? So one thing we can immediately find, there's a simple derivation is that as the center frequency increase, for example, one kilohertz, the center frequency of one kilohertz, the bandwidth would be 700 hertz approximately. But the bandwidth of the the frequency, center frequency 500 hertz, that is about one octave below of the one kilohertz, the bandwidth would be 350 hertz. So therefore, as the, as the center frequency increases, the octave band increases. What about the bandwidth of 10 kilohertz? is a huge, a 7 kilohertz, that's the bandwidth, okay? Now you have to be very careful about those uh, derivatives that we just uh, discussed because b the way, because of the way we define the octave band or one-third of octave band and so on. Oh, interesting sound, right? Okay. And the sound pressure level, the unit is decibel. The reason why we put dash is because we put 10 over here, therefore we call dash, and this whole relative scale we call bell. That's well. Now we would like to know what really means by decibel. Can we feel the decibel? Because decibel certainly provide us to feel the sound pressure we can hear. Right? Zero decibel we, we know that is the uh, the pressure, sound pressure that we can we can uh, list here, okay? So let me uh, have uh, some demonstration, okay? Uh, first, to use this uh, sound level meter, okay? 